Archie Griffin, Desmond Howard, Eddie George, Charles Woodson, Troy Smith. Those are just a few of the names that have won Heisman trophies for either Michigan or Ohio State. Fielding H. Yost, Paul Brown, Harry Kipke, Woody Hayes, Bo Schembechler, Jim Tressel, Jim Harbaugh, Urban Meyer. Those are just a few of the legendary head coaching names that have battled in the Michigan-Ohio State rivalry. 11 national championships for Michigan, 8 for Ohio State. In the pantheon of college football history, few rivalries have had the cachet or importance of what's referred to as just the game. The bad blood between Michigan and Ohio State has gone on for decades, the highlights of which will break down on this edition of Stadium Rivals. From the beginning of this rivalry, it was all Michigan. Over the first 15 games, starting with the first in 1897, to the start of the annual rivalry in 1918, the Wolverines went 13-0-2 against the Buckeyes. The 1918 game, the first in the Big Ten for each team, was a Michigan win 14-0, the Wolverines' 11th shutout of the Buckeyes in the early matchups between the schools. Michigan was the opponent as Ohio State opened Ohio Stadium on October 21, 1922. In front of a record 71,000 fans, the Wolverines shut out the Buckeyes again by a score of 19 to nothing, forever spoiling OSU's home debut. Michigan took down OSU three of four games between 1930 and 1933, while also winning back-to-back -back national championships under Harry Kipke in 1932 and 1933. With Francis Schmidt taking over the Buckeyes in 1934, a bounce back for Ohio State was much needed. After a reporter asked if Ohio State could take down Michigan in 34, Schmidt uttered the famous response, of course we can win. Michigan puts their pants on one leg at a time just like we do. That 34 game was a 34 to nothing blowout with Ohio State shutting out Michigan in the next three contests by a total score of 114 to nothing. Columbus was in the midst of one of the worst snowstorms in the city's history, but that wouldn't stop the 1950 game between Michigan and Ohio State. The teams exchanged 45 punts, many on first down, hoping the other team would fumble near the goal line. Michigan would eventually grind out a 9-3 win to win the Big Ten and head to the Rose Bowl. Legendary Ohio State head coach Woody Hayes would take over the program in 1951, getting the Buckeyes back into the overall standings by going 12-6 against the Wolverines between 51 and 1968, before the rivalry took on its greatest importance. You could say the modern rivalry between OSU and UM kicked off with the 1969 game. Before the season, Michigan took a chance on a former Ohio State assistant coach under Hayes, then Miami of Ohio head coach Bo Schembechler, to lead the team. November 22, 1969 featured the top-ranked Buckeyes on a 22-game win streak against an 8-2 Wolverines team. Michigan forced seven turnovers, including six interceptions, to pull off perhaps the greatest upset in the sport up to that point, 24-12. This game set up the 10-year war between Hayes and Shem Beckler from 1969 to 1978. From 1970 to 1975, both teams entered the game ranked in the top five. Michigan came into each one of those games undefeated, but only pulled off one win, a 10-7 triumph in 1971. Those games featured some of the strongest squads for each team, with Woody Hayes and OSU taking home the national championship in 1971, his fifth national title leading the program. Hayes was fired at the end of 1978 after punching a Clemson player after that year's Gator Bowl, ending the war. Michigan edged Ohio State in the 10-year war 5-4-1. Earl Bruce took over for Hayes going 5-4 against Shan Beckler from 1979 to 1987. A week before that 87 game, Bruce was fired by the school, but he wanted to coach that Michigan game. The school allowed it, and with the players all sporting sweatbands labeled Earl, the Buckeyes came away with a 23-20 win. The 1993 Ohio State Buckeyes sat 9-0-1, looking to claim the outright Big Ten title against a four-loss Michigan Wolverines team. Gary Muller's Wolverines shocked John Cooper's Buckeyes 28-0 forcing Ohio State out of a Rose Bowl berth. It would be a running theme in the early 90s as the 1995 game featured another undefeated Ohio State team led by future Heisman winner Eddie George. But it was another running back, Michigan's Tim Biakabatuka, who showed out 
rushing for 313 yards in Michigan's 31-23 upset. If this sounds like a broken record, it's not. Ohio State came into the 1996 game undefeated and jumped out to a 9-0 halftime lead. Replacement QB Brian Greasy entered the game for Michigan and engineered 13 unanswered points as the Wolverines shocked the Buckeyes yet again, 13-9. Jim Trestle put special emphasis on beating Michigan when he took the Ohio State head coaching job in 2001. In his first game, he led OSU to the team's first win in Ann Arbor in 14 years, a 26-20 victory. He also did something predecessor John Cooper couldn't do, which was take down Michigan in back-to-back -back years. OSU's 14-9 win in the final regular season game of 2002 propelled the Buckeyes to another national title, with an historic win over Miami in the Fiesta Bowl. A whole documentary could be made about the 2006 game. The final game of the season featured number one Ohio State at 11-0, hosting number two Michigan, also at 11-0, meeting for the first time at the top of the BCS standings. Heisman winner Troy Smith threw for 316 yards and four TDs to secure the 42-39 win in the de facto national championship game that season. The game was viewed by the largest TV audience for a regular season college football game since 1993 averaging 21.8 million viewers. Florida was chosen over Michigan to appear in the national championship game, the Gators crushing the Buckeyes 41-14. Urban Meyer and Ohio State got the better of Jim Harbaugh in Michigan, 42-13 in 2015, the first matchup between the two at the top of their respective programs. But 2016 saw one for the record books. Michigan came into the game at number three, with Ohio State at number two, just the second time both teams came and ranked in the top three. It took overtime for the first time in the rivalry, well, two overtimes, for Ohio State to pull off the 30-27 win. This is only a fraction of the big moments that have occurred when Michigan squares off with Ohio State. Including a vacated win in 2010, the Buckeyes have won 13 of the last 14 games against the Wolverines, including six straight heading into 2018. The series is tightening, with Michigan holding just a 58-49-6 overall record in this Big Ten matchup. The Michigan-Ohio State game will live on in the Big Ten East, with the year's final game almost certain to matter for the foreseeable future. The game will continue as long as there's college football, and as long as there's college football rivalries, we'll continue to break them down on Stadium Rivals.